वेलकम टू माई व्यूज इन न्यूज टू न्यू स्टोरीज फर्स्ट वन इज अबाउट द नॉमिनेशन बाय गैता चौरेदा ऑफ इज डेप्टीज गैता चौरेदा टेगराय प्रेजिडेंशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर फॉर इंटरम पीरियड अपॉइंटेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर पी एम आर बी हैज नॉमिनेटेड हिज डेप्टीज नो ऑफिशियल वर्ड फ्रॉम टेगराय गवर्नमेंट सो फार बट सेवरल सोर्सेज आर रिपोर्टिंग their gatacho has nominated two deputies from tigray military who are the two deputies uh, and where is debratsian uh, secondly viewers gorage pm ab today arrived in gorage zone snnpr gorage streets were deserted today no no one was seen uh, uh public transport suspended uh, we are receiving pictures from gorage as if there is there is no one living in gorage what happened there was it a protest against pm abi's visit or was it uh, due to security measures taken by security forces that people were not allowed to come out details for you uh Firstly, viewers, Gatta Chaudhary uh, is now Tigray interim administrator. He was appointed by the Prime Minister two days ago, and his main task is to create, to form transitional interim government, inclusive, participatory, with participation of all stakeholders. Uh, this uh, government, transitional government, will lead, will will lead. the people of tigray through transition to the next uh, government gatacho has nominated two deputies reportedly two deputy administrators who will be his uh, deputies uh no official word but reportedly the two deputies are from tigray military we don't know how many deputies will work under gatacho just two or more than two that will be clear in coming days and we know that uh, tagaray military remained uh, divided recently regarding the efforts for the formation of interim government tadase varede was backing the bretsin gabremekai Tadasse Varadkar was made part of the committee, nine or eleven member committee, which started discussions for the formation of interim government. Uh, then we saw statements from Tadasse Varadkar uh, and some other journals uh, who backed the setup uh, finalized in Makale, uh, which was led by the Bradson Gabri Mikhail. But that setup was rejected by the Prime Minister. PM Abi in the meeting held in Bishofto uh, rejected that proposal submitted by the Bratsian. He wanted uh, someone else from uh, from Tagray to be the president, not the Bratsian. That is why Gatacho was elected after uh, party vote, narrow margin victory by Gatacho Reda over Fisseha uh, have taught him. The other faction in the military. is led by sadkan sadkan gabritan sai who wrote an article a few weeks ago uh, sharing his vision of how uh, election should be held how government should be formed interim government integrai and his proposal uh, is very transparent very inclusive participatory but sadkan's proposal was not taken into account by tadasse varadkar led committee by debratsian now debratsian has been sidelined gatacho elected gatacho has nominated two deputies reportedly sadkan gabritan sai is going to be one of his deputies and tadasse varadkar as well so we are waiting for official confirmation but uh, most sources are confirming that gatacho is appointing both of them as deputies uh i think it's a very mature decision by gatacho 
if it has been made. Katacho is trying to create unity. He is trying to bridge the gap between some Tagarai channels over the formation of interim government. Because Sadkan and Varede, they have been on opposing sides regarding the efforts for formation of interim government. There was difference of opinion, not conflict, difference of opinion, you can say. So, if Gatacho is trying to create unity by appointing the two deputies from two sides, it should be encouraged. Uh, but I think we could see more deputies as well. Someone from Tegrai Civil Society, from Tegrai Scholars. Let's see. In coming days, we'll see uh, who are going to be deputies apart from these two. And... Uh, uh, portfolios, ministers, uh, will they be from DPL, from opposition parties, from TDF or is Gadacho going for a technocrat's uh, cabinet? That we'll see in coming days. So far, since he is giving uh, military a prominent role, so we could see more uh, technocrats uh, at the cabinet of Gadacho that will be formed in coming days. Secondly, we are the Ethiopian PM RB arrived in Volkite Gurage zone today. There was no one to welcome PM RB streets, deserted roads without vehicles. No one was there lining the roads to welcome the PM. Why? Because we have seen that wherever he visited Gurage in the past, People took to the streets to welcome him. This time, no one was there. Pictures are being shared from uh, Volkiti, Gurage's capital city. Pictures show that uh, uh, public transport totally suspended, security forces deployed. Amharic news sources claim that uh, people did not want to welcome PM Abhi. And that is why they sort of went on strike, strike uh, at home. But this, uh, these pictures, uh, deserted streets could be for two reasons. Either people boycotted his visit, because we know that in Volkaiti a few days ago, a few weeks ago, security forces opened fire at people who were protesting for water supply. Three died, several were injured. And then we saw week-long uh, strike in Volkite. Volkite, Gorage under command post. ENDF is in charge here. Why? Because people uh, have been protesting. They have been going on strike for a separate regional status. They want Gorage to be a separate regional state of Ethiopia. Gurage is part of SNNPR. Ethiopian government is creating a new regional state. It is splitting SNNPR, but it is not creating a separate Gurage regional state. That is why we have been seeing protests, people being arrested, members of parliament being arrested, activists being arrested, etc. Uh, and that is why government established a command post led by Ethiopian National Defense Force to uh, enforce law and order in this zone. PMRB held meetings with the community elders, with zonal government uh, officials and uh, he urged the people to resolve its disputes through dialogue. He said if people have complaints, concerns, uh, the complaints, concerns should be addressed through dialogue, through discussion. And people of Volkai, the people of Gurage, they have the potential to resolve their issues through dialogue, through mediation, through talks, not through violence. So, he is not promising anything. He is not saying that Gurage will be established as a separate regional state, split with SNPR. He is only saying, let's talk, let's sit. People are angry. Uh, uh, local politicians uh, angry as well, under pressure from locals. Gurage's Vulaitas have been struggling for years. They say if Tegarai state can be created, regional state, Amhara, Oromia, why not Gurage? But PM Abhi's government has created only one regional state along ethnic lines, Siddhama. 
Otherwise, uh, last regional state created was Southwest state, named Southwest. And new one is going to be created uh, not uh, after uh, any ethnic denomination. So it means government is not uh, agreeing with Gurage's demand for a separate regional state. That is why we're seeing that P PM Abi received a lackluster welcome in Gurage zone. People were not passionate about welcoming the Prime Minister there. Let's see what happens. Uh, will the Prime Minister make some announcements in Volkate, maybe to appease the people? Uh, some announcement of a big project there, uh, just to pacify the people. Let's see. Thank you.